Diesel, all of the things that the sun touches is what you rule. Cool, Dad. But what about all that stuff in the shadows? In the shaded parts, do I rule that too? Shut up, Diesel. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back and grounded. There's a new experimental area that you can go ahead and opt into in Steam. Right click the game. Go to properties, betas. Opt on in. Your game may get a little crazy. Our town is still here. Our city's still here. It has not been destroyed. I will say this. The ambiance, like the uh, aesthetic lighting. The second you walk in, back in the day, it would get like really stupid bright. Now, it doesn't uh, get so bright. But, oh, shizzle. It's been added. The pond, it's ready for exploration. All sorts of little fun doodads, whatnots, and oh my god. Oh, parachutes. Oh, it's a good thing I remember that. Because everything is here for us to enjoy. Hold on, let's get some shrooms in here, knocking them out. Aqualungs, the Aqualung uh, potion, the, the shake, no longer works. It uh, used to take the gnats, like the little uh, water, water gnats. It does not take that. It takes eelgrass now. Also, we have some things, some, some crafting materials for some flippers, some flipper flippers, some fin flops. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fin flops. <laughs> Get a little flippers. And we need water boatman fins. What? Eelgrass strands. Lily pad wax. Lily pad wax is underneath all the lily pads. Thank you, Jesus. You're welcome. Just in case you were concerned. And don't bother bringing a bow and arrow or your mint hammer. Because crap don't work. Eelgrass now has to be the replacement for your uh, mites. So if you want to have super long breathing uh, milkshakes, we gotta get eelgrass. How do you get eelgrass? Well, so here's the thing, inventory. You gotta bring a spear, bring a dagger maybe, but any kind of big swiping thing ain't gonna do you the trick right now, brother. So all you do is get some lily pad wax underneath the lily pads and it will unlock the Pebblet Dagger recipe. What is the Pebblet Dagger, you may ask? Well, it's a good thing you've asked. Boom, a handy tool for harvesting aquatic flora or for the defending oneself against underwater fauna. There are different kinds of underwater knives. There's also a trident. There's also not only the fin, the fin flops, but there's also like scuba gear, like a, a mask. Always wear your mask, kids, you know? You know what I'm saying? But first, we have to go check it out. Now, I did hear that uh, if you built anything along the side of this that's probably going to be destroyed, well, it looks like everything's still rock and rolling, you know what I'm saying, bro? That's good. But I'm not going to lie. Kind of terrified. It looks like there's a quarter over there, or like a half dollar. A JFK. John. There's a lot of stuff in here. So, not only is there koi. Nice and clean. But there's water boatmen, there's tadpoles. Most of those are just, uh, you know, the, the friendly, the friendly types. The koi, though, the koi is super aggressive, bro. I mean, it's super aggressive. Now, don't be uh, afraid that if you die in the water, your book bag has air inside of it and it floats all the way to the tippy top. So you don't have to worry about going all the way down to the, the deep depths to try and get your stuff, unless you make it to the research lab underneath here. There is a research lab underneath here, and that's what it is. Find your way to the pond depths. I found my way to the entranceway, but I couldn't get in because I'm not the strongest of swimmers. Ooh, we need eelgrass, bro. I don't know what this stuff is. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, there's also diving spiders. What? Yeah, about that. I'm not going to lie, man. Like, this really has me skeeved out. Okay, so that's the depths. We're in the depths. We're in the thick of it. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Breathe. Yeah. All right. Also, if you kill things underneath... Oh, what are you? What are you, bro? What are you, bro? I said, what are you, bro? It's a water bowman. Okay, so these guys are actually kind of nice, but we need their legs. Uh, 
Ah, nice. Water boatman fins. We need these. Spider stuff, I don't, I don't. Eelgrass, yes. Okay. And of course, I'm hungry. I'm hungry underwater. Hunger, water, hunger. And we're dying? Okay, so we gotta bounce. Ooh, see, check that out. This is the wax I was telling you about. Lily pad wax. Oh, God. It's so scary down there, bros. I'm not even kidding. It's a little much. I kind of want to make it over there, though. Hold on. Bring some shakes. We brought some shakes with us, some green machines. I also have a bandage, too. I should probably use a bandage, but... We got through this together. So hold on, do I have any, did I get some eelgrass? Like, I don't understand, I was swinging away at that. Okay. All right. Cannonball. Oh, hey, Koi. You just like swooped in on there. Hey, bud. Hey, guy. Hey, guy, what's up? What, what What's good, Koi? Are you trapped? Oh, he ain't trapped, bro. He's looking right at me with his dumb, dopey face. All right, let's get some of this eel grass. Like, so I'm having issues, as you can see. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, so I gotta go all the way down here to collect them. Eel grass strands. We're finding new things. I feel like there's some sort of thing that's next to me. Breathe, breathe. Everything's gonna be fine. Deep breaths, everybody. Deep breaths. Looks like that koi is uh. Looks like that koi's got some problems. It's like he's stuck, which could be to our advantage. Cause he's super mean. Doesn't like. Uh, <laughs> he's not a people person. He's not a people pleaser. All right, bud, water boatman. He's like, you'll ride. When you'll ride, you'll ride. I wonder if we can, dare I say, can we try? Yikes. Is there a lily pad that I can get? There's one, and of course he's right next to it. Stay away from his, from his mouth if we could. Get up. There he is. Whoa. Uh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Well, first, before we go ahead and start murdering a koi, I just, I, I, I might have to do it just for science. Science? What kind of science is that? The only kind of science I know. Scope out these places, these things. Science. Science! Any tapes? Huh? No tapes, huh? Spider webs? It's not good. Oh. Come on. That's all I need is to jump in in the oak. Jump in, get eaten by a koi. I wonder, do I take the spear or the knife? Spear. Oh, jeez. Requires a chopping tool. Die. Die, you horrible fiend. I don't know what's going on, man. You, you got beef? Water flea? Yo, this thing is definitely still alive. Requires a chopping tool. And me without my bow and arrow, you know? Oh, dude, there might be something underneath there. Hold on. You know, this fish really wants to add after me. Look at it. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, guy. What's happening there, big guy? Hmm. 
Cannonball? Oh, look, it's a tadpole area. Oh. Hey, tadpoles. Are you hiding, are you hiding from the big guy, too? Yeah, yeah, I bet y'all. I would be, too. He's scurry. All right, so he's he's definitely bugged. Obviously, he's definitely bugged. And we shouldn't worry about killing the koi. Although we should be able to kill the koi. For some reason, he's bugged out, which is fine. Now you can kill the koi. It gives you different kinds of armor for obviously uh, aquatic things. But uh, it seems like it's uh, got some problems at, at the moment. Just like me, I got problems. But I, I feel you. Hold on. Do it for the thumbnail. Do it for the thumbnail. Ah, uh, yeah, give me that smile, bruh. Get back. Get in position. That's what they do at all those photography studios. We caught the car. We caught the koi, everybody. We caught the koi. The koi, the koi. Well, that means I don't have to worry about the koi going anywhere. So while we're doing that, while the koi is trapped, so I mean that's good, because then it should allow us to get down into the depths, the murky depths, without having to worry about that particular predator coming after us. It's always good. If I can just get up onto the lily pad, please. Thank you. All right. I will say this, <sighs> jumping into the, oh, the poor koi, um, jumping into this in the daytime, pretty creepy. Jumping into this when there's shade, whew, let me tell you it's on another level of awful, I, I'm, uh, I'm terrified, let me go ahead and consume, consume. Don't even need to boil it. Nope, nope, we'll see what's good. All right, we got cables. Cables or spiders? Jesus! A sunken T-Rex. What? Let's research. We need air. Cohagen, we need air. Oh, there's a research lab. Crap. We're gonna die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. No. 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 Oh, we did. Oh, we did. That's fine. It's fine. Because we have a zip line. All right. Yeah. And look, it floats to the top. It works. Nice. Oh, those are tadpoles doing that. I was like, what is that noise? I feel a little less squishy now. Alright, so let's go to the research center and see if we can't unlock some new things with our new stuff. If I can get out of this. This is the worst, this is the worst part about it. Especially if you're getting chased by something that you don't want to be chased by and you can't get on top of the lily pads. Freaking out? Boom, boom, alrighty here. Analyze. Ah, uh, what can we make? What can we make? A bone trident. Fantastic, love it, big fan. You, analyze you. What can we make out of you? A gill tube? A gill tube. What is a gill tube. I can only assume that it's something that helps me breathe. Decoy bait. Oh, yeah, we have decoy bait, too, just in case the uh, koi gets a little uh, uppity. Eelgrass, raw tadpole meat, water flea meat. Put that together. Throw it on the top. It's like uh, in the game Raft when you want to get rid of the shark. You toss that big thing on the top of the water and it attacks it. It's kind of like that. At least that's, how, that's all I assume. I assume. I assume. Bone trident. Check this out, folks. Uh, sunken bone. 
Water boatman fin. Okay. Eelgrass fin. Sunken bone. There's bones in the water? There's bones in the water. There's a bone in the water. Someone get a picture? There's a bone in the water. Um, where is the other stuff? Ah, gill tubes. Oh, it's a breather. A mouthpiece formed out of eelgrass strands, other hydro hydrophobic, hydrophobic materials. Creates a thin air pocket that allows for longer underwater breathing. We need this. It's necessary. We have silk rope. I just need to get some more eelgrass strands. We can do that. Okay, so I'm not sure what makes a uh, the Aqualung smoothie because this is uh, still broken. Like, I'm, I'm making just regular smoothies now. It's supposed to be eelgrass, from what I understood. Eelgrass, plant fiber, and clover. Not so much. Not so much. So what we'll do is we'll wait for daytime because I'm not going down there at night. We could craft a new lantern. Uh, let's see here. Tools, tools, tools over here. Decoy bay. Yep, yep, that's wrong. There we go. Slime lantern. A lantern made from hydrophobic materials and slime mold useful for exploring the murky depths. Liquid wax, slime mold stalks, which I actually have a couple of. But we're kind of holding off on that lily pad wax. All right, good. The koi is still trapped. Fantastic. Exactly what we need. What I was looking for. Okay, let's get rid of the sap. That, that, I've crafted a slime lantern. So, we can possibly see a little bit better. Keeps me safe on jogging at night. And... Nice clean. Boop. Boop, boop. We could use some more of... A those boatmen grab all the wax all the lily wax all the lily livid wax and i believe we also have to take out at least one of these tadpoles bro like i know guys i know but they're very elusive they run and they run like the dickens they swim away come here i'm not done with you he's running he's afeard Oh, he he knows that he knows the end is nigh. Hey, bud. Finally. Oh no, the koi is loose. The juice is loose. The koi is loose, and we're done for. And it's aggro. Oh, good. Oh, and it's coming right for me. Hey, guy. Hey, buddy. Don't eat me, bud. I heard you was messing with them tadpoles. You don't do that around here. Mm -hmm. Okay, bud. All right. Understandable. I get it. You're a little upset. You're a little upset that I'm killing all your friends. Um, don't worry. Not going to be the last time that I kill one of your friends. Oh. These things are already dead. Good. Yeah, so no more days of the, uh, those little water gnats or water fleas being friendly. They're all aggro now. They all don't like us. It's a bummer. All right, Koi, you stick around right there. Uh, that's a tree. It's an underwater tree. I can only assume that there might be spiders around here. Ah. Uh, that's what I need right there. Oh, and of course, of course, this stupid koi is going to ruin our day, isn't it? Now, every time that you kill something, you gain a little bit of O2 back. Oh, God. Oh, God. Goodness. All right. Let's see here. Gilly tube. Some kind of wax. Silk rope. Fin flops. One more of these. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. Where are you at, bud? Oh, you're right there, huh? So you, you don't know where he is until you hop on in, and he could be super, super suspect close. Super sus? I'm sus? Uh, I'm totally sus. He's coming right for me. Yeah, you really got... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Get. 
You go on now, you get. <laughs> the entire the entire game now is avoiding the koi. Avoid the koi. Avoid the koi. Um. God, I really need you dead. Please don't go closer to him. No, don't go closer to the koi. Gotta risk it. Run. We did it. Okay. All right. All right, everybody. Everything's gonna be fine. All right. All right, Ants. Back on dry land. You land lovers. Yeah, are you land lover? Okay. So let's see here. Workbench gear. Fin flops. Craft you. Oh, we need some silk rope, which is fine because I have some silk rope over here. Look at this. Tadpole meat. Ah, look at that. All right, so we got fin flops. Excellent. Uh, silk. Where did I put all of my weave at? There we are. Boom. Back you up here. Gill tube. All right. Let's go see what, let's go see what this research station has, up, has to uh, say to us here. Put on our little flippers. Gotta put on our little flippers and our little mouth breather. Or mouth breathers, y'all. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I got called that. Uh, let's check out and see if we can get to the station. If we get to the station, we bang a ring. Hopefully we make it. Fingers crossed. All right, yeah. Put. Put. All right. Okay. All righty. Okay. Let's equip. Safe. Cannonball. Do we notice any discernible difference? All right. There's the cable going in. T Rex. I'm terrified. Got research down here. Excellent. I knew I saw something coming over through here. Aha. There it is. Check it out, Frost. Something tells me we're not going to make it. Something tells me we... Oh, whoa. We're getting shot forward. Please tell me I can get in here. Please tell me I can get in here. Please tell me I can get in here. Oh, crap. Well. Looks like it's been real, y'all. It looks like it's been real. We've unlocked some things. We've gotten some more stuff. And it looks like I can't... Oh, 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 what is this? What is this? I just went a little bit far. Oh. I can't get in here? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That is 100% open. Oh. Well, now I gotta go back down there and get it. So the breather only helps out a little bit. And if you get stuck in that cave, good luck. Because guess what? It's stuck down there forever. <laughs> Until you go back down there and get it. Which is going to be a task. But folks, that is going to be your episode for today. We're crafting a bunch of new things. Checking out a bunch of new stuff. Trying to kill a koi. Didn't quite happen the way we wanted it to. And that will be it for the time being. I also don't want to ruin the rest of this. Because this is obviously an experimental branch. And it's not quite ready just yet as you can tell we were taking out a koi and it wasn't giving us no 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 goodies it wasn't, wasn't giving us the goods you know what i'm saying but i will say this there's a couple new uh changes especially to the ambient lighting so it probably is going to crush your uh, pc like it normally does because when you used to walk i used to walk through this uh, main gate over here 
and walk in to just a bright array of ambient light. And you would think like, oh, you know, it's it's not that bright, you know, it's not that bright, it's not that crazy, but yet it seemed like it was a little much just for these little candles to be giving off. So they've lessened the ambient lighting. So again, I don't think it's gonna crush your PCs, but it's definitely darker in here at nighttime. Everything's just accented nicely. Perfectly prettier in every way. Oh, also, I want to uh, apologize to everybody. The internet at my home is not the best. This video will probably take me about three hours to upload because of the problems. I have someone coming over to fix it. That's the reason why there is a lack of streams and a lack of content on the channel because the internet is in a buenos. But we have to make it a buenos. I'm still kind of chapped about that whole thing. I could see it. It was a glass. It was a glass bottom. And then we would. Then we were trapped and we died. Shenanigans. <sighs> but folks, that is going to be our episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. There's new videos, new live streams happening. It's like the internet gets fixed every single week. <laughs> folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, I shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Grounded next time.